So here we go again. I created more work for myself. I decided to buy something and start cutting my own hay and start bailing my own hay. I didn't pay a whole lot for this, but this is a New Holland hay bind. This is a 488. Now she's not pretty. She's not, doesn't have the best paint on her and she has some issues, but it are not many. Uh, I need to replace some rock guards on it. We're going to get that done here in a little while. We've got a couple rock guards missing right there, a couple of broken blades, but the thing runs as smooth as silk. It needs a couple of other small items like it needs some bushings back in here. These bushings are wore out. Um, the conditioner rollers are in fair condition, and I do just mean fair. They're not falling apart, and they're not coming apart, but the condition rollers are just not perfect. So we're going to run with those and not worry about it. And then uh, as far as some of the rest of this thing goes, I mean, it needs a new belt in it. Um, these handles need a little bit of help, a little work. We have a little bit of rust back here. We'll get to that eventually. I'm not too worried about that. It's not gonna affect the way it runs, but we'll get that fixed. And then, uh, let's see. Like I say, it's got a couple little issues. This is kind of broke. And when this thing is wobbling around and bouncing and jumping all over the place, things start to crack and things start to break. And that's what that is. We have a, you know, fairly decent machine here the wobble box is good the gearbox here is good the clutches are good everything works i did replace these hoses already I did that um, because these ho I had a busted hose on it and uh, we had to fix that now this is something that the previous owner did in order trying i guess to to, to get it to set a little higher and um and that's like i said that's on its running mode not when I mean, you're just driving down the road not not running out in the pasture or in the field whenever you're, you're cutting hay everything else is seems to be fine on it the machine is not in that bad a shape it's just not pretty again i see you know several bushings here that need to be replaced it's got a little bit of surface rust that'll start wearing off once we start putting some some grass through it this is the other side of the cutter that all looks actually fairly decent you could probably use a new belt here before too long the chains and everything look in good shape as far as i can tell all the bearings are in good shape on it like i said this is a usable machine and i think sometimes we just want the latest and greatest this is not the latest and greatest but but they did make these things all the way up to 2023 and so you know they've been making these for a long time somebody did some fixing here it's not the best but it works uh, some of the tines are are not broken but missing their keepers as they somebody just wired this up not there's a couple of those in here but not a lot of them and i'll tell you what i have an old 1209 john deere and i think what i'm going to do is the keepers are a little bit different John Deere uses this style of uh, fork. The problem is, is this these don't actually, you know, fit on on these New Holland balers. Nothing John Deere fits on a New Holland baler, but a cutter, I should say. John Deere has to be special. But this is a John Deere keeper right here, and they are different than the New Holland keepers, or whatever these things are actually called. But when you lay them on top of each other, they are the same with the exception of this piece right here. So actually, if I cut this piece off, this works. And so I don't believe in spending money unless I have to. And I think I can make these work. So we're gonna try it. We just added some more tension to these springs right here.
That looks about right. I just looked down and there was a stick there. I don't remember if that was a... Let me find the... Talking about that boat right there? Oh, that's in my ear. That's gross. Alright. That's all cleaned up. Yeah, I was thinking it was only one. So we gotta take those we gotta take those two bolts out right there and right there and that where that hole down is and then put the new rock guard in and just drop it in. The first thing I do is knock those little bolts, little uh, uh screws or bolts out that holds the blade on so we can put a new blade on it. There have been a blade on here for probably like fifteen years. Wait a minute, how old is this cutter? Oh boy. Let that soak in there a little bit. I don't know how long that's going to take. I don't know. I do have a dimple in it, though. Makes it a little bit easier to hold this on here. Use the same nut. Ouch! That nut is hot. <laughs> Not gonna use the same nut, are you? I'm gonna use it, but it's too hot right now. I'm gonna use the same nut so I don't mess up another. Well, nut. hey, you could use those pliers right there. I tried. Oh. Ouch! That's you know that's a little warm. You need a pair of gloves. <laughs> gloves are for smart people. Uh, I get you some welding gloves, and then you won't be able to pick up the bolt at all. hot you think this one here i'm going to do some finagling to get it to work okay but that one's not ready to come out yet okay Here. Tighten them up. I just don't want to break it. It's pretty tight. I mean. All right. So we got everything put back together. We're not going to rebuild it today. We're just getting to a certain point. So basically, we got the rock guard on. We've got a couple of new blades on it. They're, they don't. They may look old, but, but they're just rusty. They're brand new blades. We got all that on there. We're getting ready to start it up. Hook it up to the tractor and start it up. Make sure everything is working right. And then we're. We'll talk about what we're going to do with it next. We do have some more work to do it to, to it. Most of it, most of it is just this kind of stuff. Fixing that, putting a, putting a bolt in there and a keeper in there for these.
what's on there. Let's go with the we'll go with the green one. Okay. Now I can do that again. Work it a couple times. That's all working pretty good. Go down to the ground. Well, that's cutting right on the ground almost. Okay, go back up. All right. Um, Turn your PTO on. Block out here, but I do have this tire. Let's see if that works. Pull forward. We're gonna go. I think we'll go to the second hole. So the more we're using it right now, the better. It, the more it's smoothing out, it, it has made a, a world's difference. I think it just hadn't been used in a while, so it was a uh, it was creaking and crawling there for a little while, but it's doing a whole lot better now. It's running a lot smoother and uh, the reel's not stopping like it was that's a good thing bubble box looks good sounds very decent other than a couple of rocks that's hit which are a couple of rocks in here we're gonna have to get in here with a, a rock bucket i don't know one maybe one of these days i can afford a rock bucket or something and i'll get in here and clean this up a little bit but it's actually doing pretty good. It's laying a nice, it's cut the grass really nice. It looks really good. So I'm excited about it.
Grease it up, tighten the springs up on a little bit, do some new rock, threw a new, uh, new rock guard on it, a couple of new blades, and it's running. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Not bad for an old cutter that's been around for a while. I really don't know what year this cutter is, but I guarantee you it's at least 30 years old. So, and that's not too bad. It's doing a good job of cutting. A, there are a couple of bad blades on there, but they're still cutting and we're gonna keep going with it. But the grass looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. They've been predicting a bunch of rain for our area last week got nothing and this week they're predicting nothing so it probably it'll rain like crazy this week so we're getting this field cut and it's looking pretty good so until next time though thanks <laughs>